So I'd like the lines in Illustrator to just be a little more interesting. These dead flat strokes that are the same thickness all over. Man, it doesn't do anything for me. Let's see if we can't do something more interesting than that. I'm sharing my screen. And we're going to go to what else? Illustrator. Um, here's a couple of bobs. Bob 1.0 and Bob 2.0. And what you'll notice is in outline mode, they look the same. But in preview mode, Bob 1 doesn't look so hot. His lines are all exactly the same. Bob 2, on the other hand, has this really nice kind of quality of line. The way that, that it's fat in the middle, it's skinny on the ends, and it gives those all those lines really nice shape. How do we do that? So that's what we're going to figure out. I'm going to go to another blank file. Not that one. I want to just get a blank file here. It's lovely, though. Um, I just tap my tab key, and I turn all my menus back on again. I'm going to open up my brushes menu over here. We're going to make a brush and put it in here, and then we're going to use it and play with it and see what you can do with some of the brushes that are in here. Um, there are a bunch in here already. By the way, if you find yourself thinking, gee, I wish I had other brushes that were available. Whoops. Holy cow. There's a stack of brushes available to you inside um, Illustrator that you can then go play with. Wacom 6D brushes, like all kinds of cool stuff like that. And yes, that's how you pronounce it, Wacom. I called them. I found out. Okay. What I'm going to do is draw just a line. Like, burp, and there we go. As you see up above in my menu, my control window, if you don't have your control window open, open your darn control window. It's right there. Um, it's got no fill. The line has a black stroke on it, and it's one point wide. Uniform, basic. Great. What I want to do is use this wacky little tool right here, underneath rotate, next door to the free transform tool, which is called the width tool. And what it lets you do is what it shows you in that movie. I can change the width of a line at any point in its expanse. So if I wanted to get fat in the middle and skinny on the ends, I can grab that and just go burp and maybe make a little bit more variation right there, a little bit right there. You can have fun here until you go, eh, that might be okay. Maybe I'm happy with that now. So I get to the point where I'm gonna I'm done fooling around. And all I'm going to do is just grab that line, grab that, and go drag it right into the brushes menu, just like that. You notice I get a little green plus sign that says, you want to add that to the brushes menu? And the answer is, yes, I do. I want to make an art brush. A scatter brush will let you, like, spray paint it using, like, a graffiti trick. Pattern brush will give you a string of this shape all along a path. I want an art brush because an art brush gives me this opportunity to say... I'm going to go left to right. Yes, I am. I'm going to stretch that stroke over the length of whatever path I attach it to. I could scale it proportionally. I don't want to do that because that means that if the line is really long, that middle fat section is going to get huge. So I'm just going to say stretch it to fit that thing. Okay. So now what I've got is a new brush inside my brushes menu, that guy right there. I'm going to throw that line away. And now what I can do is say, well, I want to get that you know, kind of schnoz on the side of Joe or, I mean, Bob. What am I talking about? It's not Joe. It's Bob. Bob the Neanderthal. So we're going to put that on the side of his nose like that. So there's my, there's my line for the side of his nose. And as you see, it's set up to be um, uniform. Not very exciting. Basic uniform. But if I come down here and say, I'd like to use this line, the one that I just created, that new brush, Look how cool is that. It stretches it proportion or stretches it along the length of the stroke and gives me that quality of line that I was trying to get before. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that you can also use other brushes that are in here like this beauty, which has lots of texture to it. If I gave that one maybe uh, 10 points of weight, you start to see that it's got a lot of fun to it, a lot of crackle and sizzle in that line. So you can play with all these different brushes. And as I say, there's a bunch inside the library. And two things I'm just going to point out here. I can use the object path menu to get to, I've got to go back and select it. you got to have something selected before you go change anything. Path, outline stroke. And that shows me all the vector paths and points that make that line do the magical things that it does. It's still just filled with black. But what I can also do is come back to Object Path and say 
offset path. How much would you like to offset that by? Half an inch. How, what do you want the joints to look like? Miter or round or bevel? There's all kinds of stuff that happen in there. And I think, I mean, I'll try for the round. And then the miter limit decides how much that's going to stick out um, when you get done with it. Like, will they go way outside that line or will they just be kind of fine? And then maybe I'll put that one in magenta and go to object, arrange, object, arrange, send to the back. And you get some pretty cool effects like that. So hopefully that gives you some more tools in your toolbox to do awesomeness inside Illustrator. I look forward so much to the marvelous things that you are going to make with these skills. Bye.